Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Dubkay Dad. Uh, talk to you guys a little bit. I, um, you guys all know I got the health problem. We spoke. You guys are my family. Big hug. <laughs> um, I have a lot of stress and anxiety issues. It's like as I get older, it gets worse. And I don't know, it's crazy. I, I know I inherited from my mother. This month would have marked the 39th uh, wedding anniversary of my mother and my father. So I got the tattoo. Quality's poor, but it has my my mother's nickname and her um, time of time of birth, time of passing. You know, and whenever you know her birthday, anniversary, Mother's Day. Thursday <laughs> I think about it and it's like it gets my anxiety going and it's like ugh. and it's hard to th it's hard to think and it's hard to function sometimes but I don't know I don't if any of you have had similar know instances in your life how, how do you deal with that I mean I'll be 40 years old this year uh, my mother passed away in 2003 you know I'm a grown-ass man but every time I think about my mommy you know it just like you know the 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 way she passed the the undignified manner in which she passed. She had lupus and oh, it's a terrible disease. I mean, if you don't know what it is, Google it. The disease basically destroys your um, organs and and you know when you pass, you know, your bowels let loose and and you know you know, being there and watching it all go down is you know, you just get haunted. You're haunted by that stuff. And, you know, I wake up and wake up in the middle of the night and like, you know, looking around, I'm just like <laughs> you know, get over the past. But you know, that's my mommy. That's my mama and I can't can't get over it. <laughs> so I guess I'll continue to press on. All right, Yu-Gi-Oh! related stuff starts now. That really should have been on my other channel. Um, you guys subscribe to my other channel. Uh, I've been kind of neglecting it. I talk about personal stuff on my second channel, XX, Dad one XX. Um, I haven't really been wanting to get too personal. But I guess this, this is just an introduction to those of you who are not subscribed to that channel, what I usually put on the other channel. My personal thoughts, my personal experiences um, outside of Yu-Gi-Oh, and uh, I don't know, just felt like sharing. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about the state of the game right now. Um, is it just me, or maybe Konami wants to slow things down? Um, not like, I mean, I, the hyper aggression is still there. But I'm looking at the upcoming archetypes, you know, past Elemental Dragons, because that shit's retarded. But moving forward, you know, you got the Arch Fiends, some Blue Eyes deck that's coming out. Um, you got the War Gods. So, you know, those three archetypes, Arch Fiends, War Gods, the Blue Eyes, to me, they seem to be slow-paced decks. You know, just grind decks. And decks like that can't survive when your opponent goes Bisteus, Pitch, Meglo, Gundy, Bisqual, blah, 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 OTK, you know, that <laughs> they can't survive in a world like that. So it leads me to believe that maybe Konami in, come September is going to put the ban hammer hard on a lot of decks and strategies so that these decks that like to tank and what I mean by that is, you know, you summon one big monster and it just plows through everything every turn, just like, kind of like with 
um, Abyss Gaius does when they make it in, in um, Atlanteans. They make that damn thing. They'll tank. They'll they'll kind of turtle up and you know turtle up for a couple turns, kind of camp. And then when you're low on resources, they just tank. Oh, you got the mirror force. I have Lance and just punch and punch and punch. And I look at uh, Yamamoto, whatever it is, in the War God deck, and then um, Susano. You know the all the cards they gave it to protect it, so it just stays on the board. And it reminds me of some other card games where you summon your ace monster, and then you just protect it. And goddamn, I made a video about that about Yu-Gi-Oh being all about if how would Yu-Gi-Oh be if you just summoned your ace monster and the game was all about protecting your ace monster and if you keep your ace monster on the board, you're pretty much gonna win. Hmm, looks like we're going. Looks like we're headed that way. You know, we're kind of there now. But I mean, if they produce release more cards like Yamoto, whatever, and Susano, and now this Blue Eyes deck, who knows what it's gonna be like? But I mean, centered around putting that monster, that main monster, on the board, and it survives until the end of the game. That'd be pretty interesting. Um, guess we'll comment, answer some questions to some uh, comments you guys left. No, I won't do that. I won't do that this video. This video is long enough, and I'm thinking about stuff, so I don't want to do it. <laughs> it's WK Dad and I'm out.